This is ABC 7 News at 6. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello all and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us this evening. Our top story tonight, a family's heartbreaking plea for help to bring their missing teen back home. It's now been 22 days since 14-year-old Jabez Spann disappeared without a trace. Today, his mother, grandmother, and Sarasota's police chief came together to beg the community for answers. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us live with what Jabez's family had to say today and the very latest on this investigation into his disappearance. Jess? Good evening, Jacqueline and Scott. Jabez Spann's family is in so much pain and agony as they search for answers. The missing teen hasn't been seen or heard from since Labor Day, and his family says it's about time someone steps up and gives police some information. All I'm asking is somebody, please, please help us. Through the tears, agony, and pain, 14-year-old Jabez Spann's mother and grandmother Beg the community for answers after Sarasota police come up empty handed, their investigation at a dead end. There has to be somebody that knows something. I'm asking you if you want me to beg, that's fine. But I know that there has to be somebody out there with a the heart that can say something. We just want our baby back. Please. Their message to the community loud and clear. Those who know something, come forward. Detectives are now frustrated. They've tracked his phone, searched with canines, knocked on neighbors' doors, following up on every tip. Detectives have heard a bunch of rumors, but have not been given any substantial evidence that could lead them to Jabez. We know our community knows something. They're not coming forward and telling us. Chief Bernadette DePino says best case scenario is he's run away. Worst case scenario, he was kidnapped or worse. They just don't know. If a crime is being covered over a life, there's something hugely wrong here. To those who are withholding information, Chief DePino has a message for you. This is time for you to stand up and have courage. The only time that the bad guys or the crime or the incidents in our community succeed is when good people fail to move forward and, and come forward and tell us information. SPD promises protection for anyone who comes forward, and Jabez's family promises them their undying gratitude. We love Jabez. All we want anybody to do that know anything. Just, just give him back to us. Now, if you have any information, the family asks that you call Detective Megan Buck at the number on your screen, 941-954-7067. Now, in order for police to be able to search a home or a property, they need some type of probable cause, and that's what officers say they're having problems coming up with at this point in the investigation. However, they are pursuing every tip and piece of information that comes into them. Reporting live in Sarasota, Jess Aldrich, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you so much, Jess. Florida already received $27 million this year in federal grant money to combat the opioid epidemic. And now Governor Rick Scott wants to set aside another $50 million from next year's proposed budget. The governor making that announcement at the Bradenton Police Department today. Scott wants to use the $50 million towards substance abuse treatment and recovery services for patients. The governor also says he will propose to fight unlicensed pain management clinics, require education courses to prescribe opioids, limit opioid prescriptions to three days, and will require all prescribers to use the Florida Prescription Drug Monitoring Program database. Making sure people understand when they're prescribing uh, the risk, making sure that you, you can have a limited supply of these opioids uh, is a big deal. Use the database will be a big deal. Governor Scott believes this proposal will limit the chance of drug addiction and reduce the chance of these drugs spreading around our community and throughout Florida. Now to a developing story out of Northport. Northport police are investigating a suspicious death there. Police have released very few details but say officers were called to a home on Roxbury Circle early this morning. The victim is a 22-year-old man. Police say it appears to be an isolated incident, but they are asking anyone with information on this case to call the Northport Police Department. Let's get a check on our weather now with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Bob, nice day, but warm. 
Yes, the heat index is up to uh, near 100 degrees, especially away from the beaches today. We had a west wind, a northwest wind, keeping things just a little bit cooler there. The actual temperature was slightly below average at the Sarasota Brayton Airport, but inland areas really didn't get the benefit of that. You can see now they're getting the benefit of some afternoon showers. It's a pretty heavy weather right now. Uh, located in the west and northwestern portion of DeSoto County. A storm tracker on it now indicating the uh, possibility of, of flooding, uh, localized flooding here. Rainfall rates up to nearly three inches an hour. And also some small hail possible with this particular cell. At least that's what the uh, radar is indicating at this point. Some lightning strikes occurring too, uh, just to the southeast of Sandy and south west of Pine Level. Pine Level getting some pretty heavy rainfall. And then there's some activity southeast of Arcadia. Not much going on near the coast. All is fairly quiet from uh, Northport and on and, and beyond. Now as far as our enhanced satellite imagery goes, you can see we have Maria now is being sheared apart. It is now a tropical storm, uh, finally, as it makes its way off to the north and eventually to the northeast. The heavy weather staying off the Carolina coast, although they may experience tropical storm force winds. There are still warnings out for that particular area. More on our forecast coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Bob. The results are in regarding possible environmental issues at Bayshore High School in Bradenton. An engineering firm has determined there are no significant concerns, but some people believe the area around the school is responsible for a cancer cluster. ABC7's Rick Adams joins us live from the Manatee County School Board with more. Rick? Yeah, Jacqueline, good evening. The results were given here at the school board earlier today, not, not too long ago, and uh, groundwater samples around Bayshore High School, they were tested, and the findings suggest there aren't any problems with that water. The group handling the test says they've identified eight possible sources of contamination, and they would all present a very minimal risk. At least we know that the students and the faculty that are, that are there now are safe, and they should not they will not be exposed to the things that we were potentially exposed to from my perspective we need to follow through with the health department doing their work that would determine whether or not there truly is a cancer cluster there and that really should have been step one and then everything behind that would kind of give us guidance And for some of those who believe this did cause a cancer cluster, they did have the opportunity to speak at the school. All right, that was Rick Adams reporting outside the Manatee County School Board. He'll have more on that story coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. Still to come in your Suncoast news, storm debris remains in front of many homes and businesses across the Suncoast. Coming up, what's being done? To clear the area. And Governor Rick Scott accused of deleting voicemails during Hurricane Irma, why he says the nursing home is the one in the wrong. Now you can win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just enter the word of the week at mysuncoast.com. This week's word is pumpkin. We'll pick a winner each week. Good luck. It's rainy season on the Sun Coast. Storms can pop up at a moment's notice. Sometimes it's just rain. Sometimes it's much worse. When severe weather strikes, trust ABC7 First Alert Weather. We're here for you. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. You studied hard, went to college, and achieved your dream, but it turned into a financial nightmare. If you have federal student loans and you'd like to reduce your payments, get more time, or have your loans completely eliminated, then we have good news. With one call to Student Loan Relief Services, you can find support and guidance. We've already helped thousands of people, and we can help you too. If you have $10,000 or more in federal student loans, you can qualify for payment extensions, payment reductions, or you may qualify to have your federal student loan completely forgiven. Call Student Loan Relief Services now to find out about your options. Take control of your finances and get out from under this burden. One of our student loan experts has the answers to your questions and great solutions to ease your financial burden. We're here for you. Call Student Loan Relief Services now. Call 800-759-0203, 800-759-0203. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, 
we provide you with a huge selection of Karastan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karastan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. It's Willamania at the Player Center as the Will Rogers Follies takes the stage September 27th. Part homespun humor and part Zigfield Follies, this toe tapping Tony Award musical is the start of our wild Broadway series. So call the players at 365 2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. You need to catch Willamania. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. Governor Rick Scott emphasizing today that his phone number is not a replacement for 911. After Hurricane Irma, 11 nursing home residents died when a facility in South Florida lost power and the air conditioning system went out. Now it appears Governor Scott reportedly deleted four voicemails from that facility that he received at least 36 hours before the first person died there. But Scott says even a child knows to call 911 when faced with an emergency. For them to make a conscious decision not to call 911, which they did, to make a conscious decision not to evacuate, which they did, there's a hospital with power right across the street, and they didn't do it. Scott is taking aggressive action to suspend the facility's license and remove them from the state's Medicaid program. Weeks after Hurricane Irma made its way across the Sun Coast, piles of storm debris remain in front of many homes and businesses. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates spoke with city officials to find out what's being done to clear the area. We actually had one huge oak tree fall in between the house. Luckily, it didn't hit the neighbors. That oak tree was six feet around and towered over and the homes in the area. After falling, it left behind a massive pile of debris. We have all these stumps that you can see that we've cut up. This is our third actual debris pile, and luckily they started picking everything up. The city of Sarasota says it started debris pickup immediately after the storm. And while they have already picked up tons of waste, there's still a lot more. We are estimating that we have probably anywhere between 50 and 60,000 cubic yards of yard waste out on the streets for us to collect. And we're moving from the north end of town, going to the south end of town to collect it. Currently, the city has about nine trucks performing debris pickup. And unlike Sarasota County and several other areas who have lost subcontractors to other communities who are paying more for the removal, the city says they've managed to maintain their debris removal crews. So there's been a lot of questions about trucks going south as part of this. We have not lost any trucks south as part of our contract. And it's, it's about getting subcontractors who are loyal to your community and working in your community. I think it'll take a long time for us to see some of that debris get cleaned up. It's been there for, what, almost two weeks now coming yeah. up, maybe three? There's just so much of it. Right. They can only do so much, but we're glad they're working on yeah. it, that's for sure. They'll get it done eventually. Bob Harrigan's up next with First Alert Weather Forecast. Stay with us. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? 
you need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. As a singer-songwriter, it's all about creating high-performance art that moves people. Same is true in making gorgeous cars. Fiat designs it. You're the artist. Choose your palette just about any color combo inside out. No small wonder, state-of-the-art style Fiat. Now this moves me. Well, they're playing my song. Let the art of Fiat move you at Fiat of Sarasota. If you're over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days, I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. A free book to help you maximize your retirement income from television host and three-time author Josh Melberg has been released. This book reveals little-known truths about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we are about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known secrets we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. Call 800-307-2040 now and you'll receive a free copy of Josh Milberg's book, Next Gen Annuity Strategies Revealed. As a bonus, we'll also send you the number one mistakes retirees are making with their investments today and a free DVD on how you can get up to 33% more income in retirement. Call 800-307-2040 to have your free information kit rushed to your door. Again, that's 800-307-2040. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Everyone waiting for fall. Uh, I not know. Here yet, huh? Not, <laughs> not, yet, not here not in yet. Florida. <laughs> Usually October, mid-October, we start to see a lot of cold fronts move down. You get a big uh, taste of that cooler weather. Uh, but it's not going to be cool anytime soon. It's down to my parents in Northport today, uh, visiting with them, and got a little rainfall earlier today. But a nice start, a beautiful sunrise. Uh, get this uh, photo right here. Get a look at it. This is from Rick Enright. Uh, sunrise and a beautiful start to the day. It was a warm one. Heat indices up near... 100 degrees uh, once again for this fall day, especially east of I-75. Lakewood Ranch showing some fair weather cumulus clouds, but notice they're moving off into the east-southeast, and then there are some showers well off in the distance now uh, from Lakewood Ranch. That activity, again, associated with the sea breeze front, which has developed. We still have advisories along the east coast because of the wave action created by Maria, and those will stay with us all the way through Wednesday. Some showers and storms are inland now, and some of them pretty heavy, especially right here, uh, just to the northwest of Arcadia. This is moving in your direction, by the way. These are moving away from Arcadia. Not much going on near the coast from Bradenton, Venice, uh, Sarasota, and Northport, all the way down to Inglewood. Things are fairly quiet here, but boy, very, fairly heavy rainfall now near Pine Level. Some street flooding likely going on there uh, just to the east of Sandy. Your rain starting to lessen up somewhat. But the outflow from these may generate some other showers late tonight. And uh, nothing to worry about if you have an outdoor jog or run this evening along the coastline. Should not be a problem. Already up to an inch in northwest portions of uh, DeSoto County right there. Even despite the fact we have this dry air running. You see this upper level trough, if you will, continuing to bring us that westerly flow. That pushes everything toward the central part of the state and then eventually to the east coast. But uh, for the time being, that it'll stay with us for one more day, pro probably into Thursday, and things start to change Friday. The heat index not a big factor here near the coast because of that west wind at 13. And it looks like uh, the high today was a little bit below average because of the west wind, our normal high, is at 88 degrees, the record 96, and this morning's low was nice, 71. Boy, the rainfall for the year is pretty incredible. 16.24 inches above average. Typically, for the entire year, we see 53 inches. We've already had 61, and we have several months to go before the official end. Well, the forecast is calling for those showers inland, and then the east coast breeze and everything kind of working back toward the coast late tonight. So that's always a chance when we get this west wind to get a little bit of activity out there in the Gulf of Mexico during the early morning hours. Shouldn't hear uh, any thunder, but uh, there's a possibility, a very small possibility of that. And then the future cast calling for a few showers developing along the sea breeze front, again, both on Wednesday and Thursday, and then the inland storms later on. Well, in the tropics, real quickly, get a look at this. This is a, an incredible season so far. We're not even done yet. Maria uh, still out there, but now a tropical storm. Lee has now become a Category 2 hurricane. We've had 13 named storms, 
and five major hurricanes, soon to be six, we think Lee will turn into a major hurricane before long. Uh, it's a, a little guy right out here. It's moving off the west, not having any impact on any land area at this time, and it doesn't appear that it will do so. 70 mile an hour storm causing some tropical storm force winds, the Outer Banks, that, that takes off to the east right there. And then as far as Lee is concerned, it's gonna move off to the west. There it is at three, and then a two, and then it heads off in pretty much the same place that Maria is gonna be going. Uh, a little bit later. Uh, here's the forecast for boaters for us. Winds will be out of the west at 5 to 10 knots. Seas are pretty calm out there. Light chop. Water temperature 87 degrees. Beaches will see partly cloudy skies and 87 tomorrow for a high. Low tide upcoming 1027 and the forecast. Tonight calling for a few isolated inland showers that are taking place right now. Should be dying down and then pushing possibly back toward the coast near midnight. And then tomorrow 20% chance for those isolated inland showers. A high of 89. The extended forecast is calling for warm weather for this fall and a much better chance for showers and storms as a little pressure moves in on Saturday and Sunday. Linda? Coming up, we'll introduce you to an amazing Suncoast woman who spends her time at Doctors Hospital helping others. Tonight, a major setback. The GOP unable to rally support on health care. The president's promise to repeal and replace Obamacare on hold. So what's next in the health care fight? World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Attention Sarasota and surrounding cities. It's the final days of the Bacon's Furniture Relocation Sell-Off. We must liquidate everything in the store at huge savings as fast as possible. Do not miss this opportunity to purchase quality sofas, bedrooms, dining rooms, patio furniture, mattresses, and more. All at the absolute lowest prices possible. Don't miss the final days of the Bacon's Furniture and Design Relocation Sell-Off. Nobody beats Bacon's. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is the best overall brand for two years running and the most trusted brand for three years running, according to Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com. Right now, you can lease one of Subaru's most versatile vehicles, the Subaru Crosstrek, for as little as $199 a month or get 2.9% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. Straight from the Miss America pageant, Miss Florida stops by to talk to us. I'm Stephanie Roberts on Suncoast View. We'll meet Sarah Zhang and talk to her about her platform, Music Matters. We're going to crank up the music for Workout Wednesday and give Powerhouse Dance a try. Plus, don't miss the custom homes for sale coming up in Lakewood Ranch and Suncoast for sale. And Oak and Stone joins us in the kitchen. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Tough times often bring out the strength and dedication of a person. Today's amazing Suncoast woman has come through with flying colors as she's battled cancer and was then called on to help others through their storm. ABC 7's Linda Carson has more. Nancy Aram Basic is director of volunteers at Doctors Hospital. The Johnstown, Pennsylvania native has been a nurse for 41 years. I graduated in 1976 from the University of Pittsburgh. Um, and I was a staff nurse in Pennsylvania at a community hospital. She followed her parents when they moved from Pennsylvania to Florida. I moved down to Sarasota in 1989 and I worked at a few uh, different health care facilities here in Sarasota. Um, I was fortunate enough to meet the love of my life uh, down in Englewood, Florida. We got married. They moved to Nashville in 2002, and then she got the great opportunity to be the administrator of a rehab hospital in El Paso, Texas. While there, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. 
going through surgery and different things, treatment, um, sometimes could be trying. That's when I was the administrator of the children's hospital. Her young patients helped her make it through. They were happy and smiling and doing so many different things when they were undergoing cancer treatment. They were my inspiration. She's fine now and loves her job as director of volunteers. We have close to 250 adult volunteers and uh, during the summer we have about 30 teen volunteers so they range from age 15 up to as high as we can count, 97, I think, is our oldest volunteer right now. They do a wide variety of jobs. They're everywhere in the hospital, from the information desks, um, up on the nursing units, helping pass out water, helping the different uh, services that, that need assistance. Their volunteer work helps the patients, and it also helps them. Statistics show that when you volunteer, it really uh, improves your social life. You get to meet new friends. Uh, develop new skills. It actually uh, increases your mortality. You live longer. During Hurricane Irma, Nancy was in charge of the shelter at Doctors Hospital for the families of staff members who were working during the storm. We had close to 450 family members of our staff here, as well as their pets. We had dogs and cats and turtles and birds. And Nancy was thrilled to provide for them food, shelter, and a comfortable, safe haven during the storm. And her life lesson? Follow the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have done unto yourself and care and care and care about others. And this amazing Suncoast woman is recruiting for volunteers for Doctors Hospital. She says if you sign up, it'll be one of the best experiences of your life. For more information, go to Doctors Hospital's website. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. What a great story. I love her life lesson, care for others. That's right. Good one. Help you live longer. Yeah. That's right. Really well, right? <laughs> right. Thanks so much for joining us. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We'll see you back here at 11.